to continue with my last video, I made the shelf. I made some flat pieces, put one on top, one on the bottom, and I put screws in. These are inserts, and these hold very well. And they just fit by self-threading into the plastic. These are M4s on top, and these are M5s on the bottom. Um, so I'm kind of happy with the way this came out, but it uses an awful lot of filament. It used like 700 or 800 grams of filament just to make this one thing. And um, it's very sturdy. It, it wobbles very little. Um, so if you wanted to build like a workbench out of blocks of these, or you can extend them, you can extend them, say, from here to here and make them longer and longer. But um, my A1 Mini printer, my Bamboo Lab A1 Mini printer, will only allow 180 millimeters. So these are 180 millimeters long, these extrusion rails. And these are V-rails, v V-extrusion rails, 20-20. So I searched some more on the internet, and I found these. Now these are also 20-20 extrusion, but these are uh, hollow. I don't know if you can see that. These are hollow. And uh, they're very strong. They're almost as strong as the ones that are solid. And uh, you can't break them. But uh, they'll do in a pinch. You know, for something you're making out of PLA, it doesn't need to be that strong. So um, I, I, um, I found these on... Um, on make a world and I will leave the link or at least the description of the uh, the parts and the uh, the name of the maker and they just put their STL files there so uh, this is a profile and I made these 150 millimeters long and made them all the same and what I did I made this now this is a shelf unit so you can put this on top of your dresser or um, a cabinet or on a table and you can put things on top here and this one should actually be that way and some of the parts were already designed there were three-way corner parts Right, these here, they're very hard to take apart because they fit very tight, very tightly. And then I designed some end-to-end -end parts so I could join 250 millimeter uh, rails, extrusion rails together and make this actually, um, let's see, 300 plus 40, 340 millimeters long. And then I um, I designed these flat pieces for the top, and I designed these clips to hold the top in place. So this has no piece on the bottom. This has no um, no connectors on the bottom, and it doesn't need them because it's stiff. It's very strong. You know, you can break it, but. This will hold your average knickknacks or whatever you want to put on it. And if you wanted to make this three long, you could. And you could even make it three by two. And, um, and you would have a little more trouble. You would need some kind of bracket in the middle to hold the, um, these, these, um, these shelf pieces in place. But now you don't have the shelf on the bottom. You just have the table on the bottom. So you can put things on top of here. So we could put that there, that there. You know, uh, we could put this here. We could pile things up on top of here or make a nice display or use this in your workshop. 
So I'm pretty happy with this thing. Uh, actually, I'm happier with this thing than with this one. Because the screws were a pain in the neck. And it used all kinds of pieces. It needed, it needed literally one, two, three, four pieces to make a corner. And then the three extrusions. So it needed seven pieces to make a corner. This only needs one piece to make the corner and the three extrusions. So it uses four pieces to make a corner. So I'm kind of happy with this. The guy, uh, the guy left it on his, um, on his Maker World um, with just the STL files. He didn't download the uh, profiles. So, uh, yeah, there's that. And uh, if you want to design extra parts for this, this is very good. And this will work with, uh, with extrusion, with aluminum extrusion, because the uh, extrusions are exactly 2020. And you can make these 3030 if you want, or 4040, whatever you want to make them. And they're 1.5 millimeters thick, the walls. So this wall here, this wall here is one, 1 1.5 millimeters thick all the way around. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm quite happy with that, uh, little project. And this took 500 grams of filament to make this whole table with some extra parts and some experimenting to make these the right size and these, uh, end to end connectors the right size. So, uh, so yeah, so give me a like, a rumble, uh, subscribe, follow, notify, and uh, stay tuned.